Hi everyone, this is Kiri and this is another layout for Bramble Fox. And for this layer, I'm using a couple of the sets from the winter collection. Um, the first one is the Ho 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 from the Remember December set and I'm also using the Christmas candies. Um, so you can see them here. I don't use all of the Christmas candy set, just the larger um, circles and actually the medium circles too. So here I am, and I'm just playing around with a number of pieces of pattern paper from the Simple Stories Holidays collection. And these are literally just sort of leftover pieces from um, the collection. And I'm just layering them together and working out, you know, how I want them to go. And I'm pretty happy with that. I've got my two photos of my darling husband um, indulging me with some Snapchat snapchat shots um, a year or two ago um, and um, I'm just having a look here I'm actually going to use the fox cut 18 it's the starburst large starburst um, stencil I'm just going to add a little bit of detail to the background so I'm just making sure that's straight and I've stuck it down with just a little bit of washi tape and I'm going to use, or I am using, the Distress Oxides. And this one is the Speckled Egg because it was a it was a really good match to the um, the Holidays collection. So I'm really just literally just using the brush to um, add the oxide through the stencil, just sort of fading it out um, through to the ends. I don't take it quite all the way. Um, so I think here we go. Um, got it all finished here. And then I'm going to start getting those um, papers layered up. Um, once I've actually distressed all the edges, um, I really, I've, those of you who know me will know I like to do that. I just like to I have that added sort of texture. So I'm going to get these stuck down now. And I do just stick them all down flat, but be, but I do lift all the edges of the pattern papers up again just to create another um, sort of layer, if you like, another element of texture to it rather than them being completely flat. So I'm just getting those stuck down um, here um, before I get my um, photos um, photos attached but it's a great way just to to play around with any sort of smaller pieces of pattern papers that you've got left over sort of off cuts etc um, because um, literally that's all this was and just by sort of um, just sort of layering them together actually I'm really happy with how it looked and you've got another layout so oh just making sure that's straight of course couldn't possibly have it wonky and I think this is the last that's that last piece just getting on getting in there and then I like how that um, starburst looks just sort of coming out from that right side there just adds another um, element to the background rather than being completely white so I decided that I wanted to mount my photos but I just going to do it with some white tissue sometimes this, I quite like the effect that that gives um, rather than being another sort of heavier pattern paper it just adds a little bit of difference between the photo and the pattern paper background so I'm just sticking those um, tissue paper layers together so they don't sort of flop around and then I get my photos attached and then I'm just going to trim trim around those um, I do this occasionally. I don't do it all the time, but um, sometimes it's just um, it just helps differentiate, layer up the photo between the, as I say, the pattern paper and the photo. Adds another another element there. Okay, so I'm getting that down, and now I'm just going back around the edges of all of the layers and just sort of lifting them all up again, um, just adding a bit more dimension to it. I don't tend to keep any layouts really really flat at all even when I'm doing something like my December album to be honest it always seems to end up bursting because I do like um, dimension and texture okay so I am taking the lovely bright red ho 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 perspective from the remember December set and I'm just um, adding glossy accents to get that stuck down nice and firm just holding that down now um, and that's in place and now I'm just going to play around with the um, some of the round candies from the Christmas candy set along with some of the matching um, ephemera 
so I'm just sort of playing around some of these are um, stickers and chipboard stickers and some I think some of them are actually just some little fussy cut um, presents at the top there so I'm just going to stick those down that first one I've stuck in just says Mary it's just um, a little um, tag piece and then a couple of presents and then the end ones again another it's just a little um, Father Christmas head which I thought was obviously appropriate to tie into my snapchat photos then i'm just going to make sure i've got those um candy perspectives stuck down in place just flattening down the paper beneath them where i'd sort of rough you know lifted it up um and then i'm going to add the little stockings so just three of those along underneath there and i am going to mount those with some sticky foam because i just uh, they didn't look quite right um, keeping them flat so just getting some sticky foam um, stuck onto those and have all of those lifted up to create some dimension um, I've added the post box over to the right with letters to Santa on I like the pop of red that that gave so that's just one of the chipboard stickers from the collection I'm just fiddling around here with these stockings deciding which order they're going to go in um so i do play around with them for, for, for a moment but i think i finally figured it out so we'll get those stuck down and what's next what's next oh maybe the other perspectives that yeah oh no i haven't got the chipboard piece stuck down so just popping that down just slightly under the ho 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 layer of pattern paper and of course making sure i've got those perspectives stuck down because i'm sitting the perspective over the letters to santa it's a chipboard i do add just a little bit of um sticky foam um under the right side of that round pale pink um candy perspective just to help it um hold and sit better okay um okay moved on a little bit i've been adding some little flat backed crystals there's some pink fresh studio ones just around the layout um I'm just playing around i'm um, getting them down obviously these little sort of like sticky pokey tool things i've used a few of them and i don't know I'm, i don't know about you but I'm, I'm not sure about them because sometimes i hold them and then they don't move off the come away from the sticky thing and I'm sort of holding it and then end up having to play around and use another tool which seems to defeat the purpose of it anyway I do I do get I do get there in the end so I'm just adding um, just some crystals around it just to add a little bit of sparkle to the overall layout and then I've got a couple of the word stickers down the bottom holidays and dear Santa and I'm also raising these two on um, some sticky foam as well and just getting those both stuck down and I think I'm almost done once I've done that I think that pretty much brings me to the end oh, I do add a little bit of journaling just to the right side of the layout um, and you'll see that in the close-up that is coming soon there we go there's my journaling and we've got some close-up pictures of the um, various um, the perspectives here we go the candy there's the lovely red ho 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 and more of the candy from the Christmas candy set. Anyway, that's Kiri Baldwin for Bramble Fox. I'll see you in the next video.